<clears throat> I'm gonna wait for people to jump on. <laughs> Hello, I see you guys jumping on. Hi everyone, how are we doing today? If you guys that have just jumped on, if you could comment in the chat and let me know where you're from, um, your city and state would be great. I'm just making sure everything sounds good. Um, let me know if you can hear me as well. Cause I'd hate for y'all to not hear me. <laughs> Just comment, let me know, say I can hear you, you're good. Hello, okay, Oakland, California, hey. Oh, so what, it is three o'clock there? <laughs> How are you? Wesley Mays, okay, you from Oakland, California, but where do you live? Is it Shea? Shea? Shea Short? Hey, where are you from? Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Hey, North Carolina. Thank you so much for joining this live. We're gonna have so much fun. I'm excited. I know that this is a live that y'all been wanting to see. Um, so I'm just waiting for y'all to jump on here so we can get started. This is a chill laid back. Okay, Louisville, Kentucky. Hey, Louisville. <laughs> That's actually my city and state, y'all. <laughs> So yeah, you guys just comment below. If you're um, just jumping on the live, comment below. Let me know where you're from. Um, let me know if you guys can hear me okay as well. Cause I'm not seeing it um, on my live stream, but definitely let me know if you guys can see me, if y'all can hear me, if we're good to go. Hey you all, thanks for jumping on the live you guys. How are we doing today? Good, good. Okay, so I'm just making sure that I don't miss anyone. And I'm gonna let a couple of more people jump on before we actually get started. I don't want them to miss, even though this is a replay. Hey girl, hey, hello. <laughs> hey, hey, Leonora, hey, Jennifer. Um, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, wow, how are you doing? Is it Tamiqua? Tamiqua, Tamika? Did I say that wrong? <laughs> hey, everyone. Good to see everyone. This is going to be so much fun, y'all. Did y'all grab a drink? Um, I got a drink, and I'm not even going to lie. This is sweet tea. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> There's no alcohol in that whatsoever. <laughs> but grab your drink. Oh, thank you so much for following Kiosha Jameson. Thank you so much. If you guys wouldn't mind just to hit the follow button, um, follow me on Amazon. It'll let you know every time that I go live or that I have a live scheduled. Um, so, yeah, if you guys will comment, let me know where you're from. That would be great. And if you can hear me okay, I want to make sure that you guys can hear me okay because I don't want to do all this work and y'all can't even hear me. <laughs> Hey, okay, so y'all are coming in, which is good. Y'all were talking about locks today. All things locks. I know that this is like a video that y'all been wanting. Thank you so much for the follow. It doesn't say your name, but if you followed me, thank you so much. You guys continue to follow me on Amazon. It's gonna alert you every time I go live. So I have a lot of lives scheduled um, coming up. I have some on fitness. I have some more hair stuff. I have some like a, a makeup tutorial for the new year. So super excited. Hey, North Carolina. Okay, you guys can hear me. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So again, today's live is all about locks. I know that y'all have questions for me on a daily basis. So I wanted to, you know, create that here for you on the Amazon platform because, I mean, if y'all are like me, y'all shop on Amazon all the time. Um, thank you so much for the follow, Roderick Marshall. Thank you so much. Hey, Deanna, that's my sister. Hi. Um, yes, you guys, so y'all always ask me questions about my locks and I thought that, you know, doing this video on the Amazon platform would be perfect because let's be honest, I get most of my products from Amazon. I don't know about you guys, but it was perfect. So if you're new to the whole Amazon live thing, this is new. This is new. Welcome. Um, if you see there at the bottom of your screen, if you're on mobile, if you scroll scroll down on your cell phone, you'll see all the products that I'll be talking about today. Um, and then they're shoppable. So if you click them, 
it'll take you to the shop page where you can add them to your basket okay i would recommend that you guys do not shop until after the video because it's gonna take you off of this video and then you'll have to figure out how to get back in you have to click the link again so um if you can you know stay on the video and then after the video this live will be here all the products will be here and then you can go shop them but so if you're on mobile they are listed hey miami Hi, shakura shakura did i pronounce that right let me know um, so if you're on mobile, they're listed below. If you are on your desktop, there's a carousel and you can just scroll through and see all of the products. So again, thank you guys so much for the follows. I appreciate it. I see you guys coming in. Um, this, uh, we're going to be live, um, until, until we get done. <laughs> so, um, okay. So I think this is a good point where we can go ahead and get started. So if you guys have any questions, put them in the chat. Okay. Does not matter at what point in the live that I met. Feel free to put them in the chat and I'll get to them. Okay, the chat may be a little bit delayed um, as I'm just now seeing some of y'all's comments come in now, but I will get to them. Don't you guys worry, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with the first product. If you see, um, it should say featured, the product that I'm going to be talking about now, which is the Suave Naturals Daily Clarifying Shampoo. And I know I answer this question a million times on social media. People always ask me, what type of shampoo are you using? Do you use the Sister Block shampoo? What are you using to wash your hair? So I've been using this, the Suave Daily Clarifying Shampoo. This is amazing um, as far as like removing buildup from your hair it really clarifies your hair okay it really gets everything out of your hair without it feeling like stripped like it took the oils away so this is a really good shampoo if your hair is really dirty or just period i probably i use it i don't use any other shampoo this is the only shampoo i use my kids use it my son has locks my daughter doesn't have locks but she uses it and she found that it's very clarifying it removes all of her buildup she does get buildup from products so this is like the best. Thank you so much, Lori Marcus, for following. You guys, if you're new or just joining, definitely hit the follow button. If you're new to Amazon Live, welcome. This is a new platform. Super excited to be here. Amazon has just made it easy for us to spend more money. That's all. <laughs> so all the products that you see down here, if you're on desktop, it's a carousel underneath the video. If you're on mobile, just scroll up. You'll see the products listed down below. Those are all of the products that I'm going to be talking about today. They're shoppable. So if you click on them, they'll take you to the page where you can go purchase the product, right? why why would amazon do this to us because i mean i probably put in an order once a week for real to be honest okay amazon does take a lot of my coins and it doesn't hurt that they have everything that you need like why not and and the shipping is really fast especially if you're a prime member <laughs> but anyway back to the shampoo you guys um this is the daily clarifying shampoo by suave y'all uh I, I put a little three pack right here but these are really really inexpensive they're probably the most inexpensive shampoo i've ever owned and um so i wanted to provide y'all with a three pack because y'all never want to run out <laughs> i've been having this for maybe like three or four months so it lasts a really long time and i buy them by the threes um for me my son and my daughter so again this is the only shampoo that i'm using on my hair don't use anything else okay never have used anything else never used any sister lock shampoo or anything like that so this the one okay if you all use this comment down below because i know this is popular in the lock community comment down below and let me know if you use the daily the suave daily clarifying shampoo hey lori awesome awesome yes you guys okay again if you're new to amazon live this is a new platform it allows you to shop while we're live and we're talking and i'm sharing the products with you guys you guys can click on the products and shop them i would suggest that you guys wait to the end of the video before you start shopping because it's going to take you off of the video then you got to find your way back okay um so wait until the end of the video so it won't take you off of the live and you'll be here with us chilling again what are you guys drinking on this is nothing special but a little bit of sweet tea <laughs> saving the alcohol for a couple of days for Christmas so <laughs> but anyway you guys okay so let's go to the next product um the products that are highlighted are the products that I'm currently talking about all right and this product y'all gonna be so shocked okay I'll get a lot of questions about my edges what I'm using on my edges and if it holds now the next two products is all about edges but this gots to be, this is the Ultra Glued Invincible Styling Gel, um, non-sticky with Crazy Hold. When I tell you Crazy Hold, I mean Crazy Hold. 
Um, I just got back from Vegas a couple of days ago. And uh, girl, I'm just going to tell you that them edges held on for days, for days using this. Okay, this has become my new favorite um, within the last week. I don't really use edge controls anymore. Um, I use this because it's exactly what it says, non-sticky, non-greasy, and it keeps your hold. All that I do is I put it on my edges. I use a little edge brush to kind of slick them down in the style that I want. And then I apply like a satin band, you know, one of those little edge bands, um, edge scarves, if you will. I apply that and then I let it sit until it dries. Then I peel it off. Kind of, it kind of gets stuck to your little satin um, scarf. But once you peel it off, honey, be laid. Do you hear me? And it doesn't flake. It doesn't turn white, which is a problem that we all have with edge controls. Um, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. You guys continue to follow me. Thank you so much. The follow button is down below. Um, but yes, no white residue, no stickiness, and it holds your edges for a really long time. And y'all can let me know if I'm yelling because my voice carries. So sometimes I find myself yelling. <laughs> Let me know. Okay. So yes, you guys, that was the guts to be. I know you guys have heard of it. What, $5? It has twenty eight over 28,000 reviews on Amazon. So go check those out. And I think it's over four and a half stars. So yes. Okay. So the next item that I'm talking about is the Kiss Edge Fixture. Now, before I found out how great this was, this is the edge controls that I was using. These are by Kiss. They come in multiple flavors, multiple colors. Have y'all tried this before? This is the um, Kiss edge, edge Fixer Glued Maximum Hold. And this is in the flavor Very Cherry. Smells like cherry. Smells really good. Now, what I find, what I like this edge control. However, what I find um, with this is that it doesn't hold as good as this. If you're a person that likes edge controls over gels, I think this is a good one. But I'm going to tell you, it's not a 24-hour hold because this right here is a 24-hour hold, honey. And plus some, all right? But if you like edge controls over gels, this is a great alternative. Um, let me tell you a little secret that I do with my edge controls. So I apply the edge control, all right? Um, use my edge brush, shape, the ed uh, shape my edges, and then I spray them with water, I spray them with water, okay, because some some way the water prevents it from flaking or turning white or something like that. I don't know what happens, but it's magical. I spray it with water, then I rub the water in, then I put my scarf on, my edge scarf, and then um, I let it dry, okay? And then when I take my scarf off, it's they're nice and laid. Now, don't get to sweating. Don't get to sweating because it's coming off. <laughs> them edges are sliding right on off <laughs> just kidding lady m thank you so much for following me you guys if you're new on this live welcome to amazon live this is actually my second live if y'all missed the first one it is on my page so make sure that you're following me on amazon you guys when you follow me it lets you know whenever i have a new live scheduled and whenever i'm going live so welcome 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 if you're on mobile scroll up you'll see all the products that i'm talking about if you're on desktop it's a carousel down below the video you can just scroll to the side what's highlighted in red is what I'm currently talking about. Um, Y'all tell me what you think about this new platform. Um, I'm absolutely loving it. Again, all of the products are clickable and you can shop them. I would suggest you wait until after the video because it's going to click you off of this and you won't be able to, it'll be kind of hard getting back. You got to figure out your way to get back, but we don't want to, we don't want you to miss out on anything. So shop after the video. Okay. Okay. Y'all now out of all these products, this is probably my favorite you guys always ask me like how do you how do you get your locks so shiny where's the sheen coming from do you put anything in your hair i really and truly don't really add much but this is new so excited for the stream going to restart my lock journey lady m awesome i'm so glad that you're here um you said restart your lock journey did you start with traditionals did you start with micro sister locks what are you restarting to let us know but this is the OGX Nourishing Coconut Oil Weightless Hydrating Oil Mist. This stuff, okay, has become very hard to find. I don't know, I don't know why or when, but the last time I featured it, it was gone. Like, I was like, what's happening? You can find it in the stores, but I just go ahead and buy it off Amazon because I know I'm going to get it. Um, I can't guarantee that I'm going to walk into Target or Walgreens and find this on the shelf, okay? It's been very hard to find it on the shelf. Thank you so much, Diane, for following. This oil is so amazing. 
when I tell you amazing, I mean amazing. It's weightless, so it doesn't weigh your hair down. Um, it doesn't add any buildup in your hair, which is good for locks. It adds, and, and let me show you the spray. Do you see that? And it smells amazing like coconut. So after I style my hair or after I wash my hair and it's dry, I'll take this and I'll spray it all over my hair. Thank you so much. E. Mallory says your locks are perfect. I wish. Thank you so much. Lady M says was locked for seven years with sister locks. Gonna do twist this time. So Lady M's going the micro lock way. Welcome to the micro lock family. We love sister locks too. So, <laughs> but you guys back to this oil. This is amazing. I mean, I buy them in the threes. Okay. I put the link to it uh, down here. You'll see it. It has what over 9,000 reviews. Freaking amazing, smells amazing, no build up, just awesome. Does add shine to your hair. So whenever I finish my style, I finish it with this spray, just to add a little final touches to it. And sometimes I do um, spray this on my scalp because my scalp likes coconut oil. If your scalp loves coconut oil, this is a good, this is good. This is really, really good. Now, it's so good that I got upset because I couldn't find it in the stores and I needed it like a particular weekend. And so, but I found this in the store. So this is the Argon Oil one. And I like this one. It just doesn't smell as good as this one. This Argon Oil is the same thing. It is weightless, dry oil. I use the same way, but I just love the way the coconut one smells. It smells so good. Have y'all tried these at all? Uh, let me know. I know they come in like a serum too, but I've never tried the serum. Um, only the oil mist sprays. These are my absolute favorite. I've linked it down below. You guys remember to shop after the live so you don't miss anything. Tamika says, just made one year of my micro lock journey. Started my micro locks because of you. Oh, I bet they are beautiful. If you started as short as I am or longer than I am, your hair is probably down your back by now. And it just seems for me that shrinkage just be doing me in, honey. And I... I don't know, y'all be like, is your hair growing? Is it not growing? Sometimes I feel like it's growing, sometimes it's not. When I pull on it, I'm like, okay, it's past my collarbone. It's definitely growing, but it's the shrinkage, y'all. It's the shrinkage. It just shrinks. Every time I wash it, it just shrinks up and up and up. And I'm just like, okay, the drop will happen when it happens. I think they're really starting to drop right now because I'm getting a little bit more weight to them, you know? But still, I feel like I've been at this length since I started my journey. <laughs> Kiosha says hers were installed 10 8 21. Welcome, welcome. Um, I'm five, I'm five months in with my interlocks. Is that what that was supposed to saw, say or micro locks? I have a question about your ends. Do you unravel them? Lady M, before I get to that, Lady M, the shrinkage is really real. <laughs> the shrinkage is really real. Okay, so back to your question. Um, do I unravel my ends? Absolutely not. I want my ends to fully lock up. I don't want any loose ends. I want them to fully lock up. Not in the back of my hair, they're pretty much locked. Like there's no like curls or whatever, but it's the crown and the top of my hair that I just, that just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it's gonna do. Uh, looking at my journey now, I have a feeling that they're gonna stay that way. I don't know. It's been two years and some months. So it's nothing I'm doing on purpose. I don't comb them out. I don't condition them. I don't, I don't do anything. I really want them to fully lock up. So we're still waiting on some of these loose ends in the front you see here, and there's nothing I can do about it. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I guess in another year, shoot, I thought that I had it down. Like I knew what was going to happen with my hair from like every six months, like, you know, what the changes were going to be. But now I just don't know, child. <laughs> I'm just trusting the process. <laughs> Yes, definitely started just like you did. Shrinkage is definitely getting me. Yes, you guys, you remember I started with two strand twist and um, I interlock. So all my twists unraveled, which is probably why I have a lot of looseness at the ends because those, those are the parts that have unraveled um, at the beginning stages of my lock journey. They all unraveled and I just left them. I didn't, I didn't twist them back because who has the time? I spent 17, 18 hours putting them in. Well, I'm not going back and twisting no twist back up. No. So I just was like, you know what? They're going to give me what they're going to give me. I'm not retwisting anything. 
Tish here, newly locked 12.5. Welcome to the Lock family, Tish. You're a huge reason I decided to lock. Thank you for the inspiration. Thank you so much for following, for finding my content inspirational. Hope I'm doing you guys justice. Okay, mine look exactly like yours and I just love the fullness. Thank you so much. You know, at the beginning of my lock journey, I was a little, you know, I didn't know what the fullness was gonna be like because I personally think that I have thin hair. Um, it's definitely fine, finer in other places than, uh, finer in some places than the other, but I just didn't know what the fullness was gonna be like. So I create, when I established, I established really, really small locks, right? In hopes that I would get a lot of volume. Just know that that's not the way to go, okay? That's not the way to go. You definitely want to take into account your density um, and then your grid as well because you want a nice, strong foundation. You don't want to be combining locks like I have. Remember, I started off with 500 and something. I'm now at 477, and I combine some every, every, every interlock because I'm like, oh, that's too thin. I don't like that. But <clears throat> when it's all said and done, I think they're looking pretty full. I like the fullness. They're not extremely full, but I like the fullness that I got um, with my locks. So yeah, you guys, don't be like me, okay? Don't just create a bunch of, you know, locks in hopes that it's going to fluff out or full out. They will get full, okay? Just make sure you focus on the health and the grid of your hair. Make sure that those locks have a strong foundation so that when they grow, and condense and get heavy, your scalp can handle it, okay? So um, that's one thing I had to learn, okay? And I actually, yeah, if y'all remember, around a six month time point, a lock fell out in the back of my neck because it was, the base was not, not strong enough for the lock, so the lock was too heavy. And fine, my hair is really fine in the back, so yeah. <laughs> Um, they are beautiful. Thank you so much. Demario, girl, you're so gorgeous. You and them babies are triplets. Thank you. Don't mind me. I'm on my husband's account, but this is Sharonda from IG. Hey, Sharonda. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jewel Miller, for following. Thank you so much. A bundle, a six day. I just, I day to day, I miss that name. Your name's long. Thank you so much for following. Happy holidays, Kendra. Merry Xmas. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. I'm trying to keep up with y'all's comments. Trust me. Jewel from Louisville, Kentucky. She just started her lock journey on 1220. Welcome to the lock family, Jewel. Nice to have you. <laughs> Sister lock journey started on July 14th. You was definitely my motivation. Thank you so much. Um, love those gold Xmas trees in the background. Thank you. Those are actually from Marshall's, y'all. I love Marshall's when it comes to Christmas decor. All right, you guys. So let's um, get to the next item. And I know y'all all know about this product, okay? This is the Hollywood Beauty Tea Tree Oil. This is what I use in the winter, majority in the winter time on my scalp because uh it's like the change in the weather it gets really dry and it really messes with my skin and my scalp so i actually have to change my whole skincare routine and also i need to apply some oil to my scalp to keep it from being really dry so this tea tree oil does it for me honey i love it i love the tingle that it gives i love the smell and I love how it's not too thick um, and it doesn't build up in my locks. So that's a great thing. But dry itchy scalp, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay? It says it on the, on the bottle. <laughs> it has vitamin E, aloe vera. It's fungus fighting, okay? You know, you heard of the stories of people having mildew in their locks. I'm just saying. It's not me, but I'm just saying. <laughs> people that fall asleep with wet hair. Don't do that. Mm -mm. But I love this oil. It's only $6.99. I think it's got about 2,500 reviews on Amazon. I re-up on this very often. I think I've had this, actually not very often. I've had this probably a year or so, you know, and I still have a lot more, a little bit less than half, but it lasts me a while. And again, I don't use it every day but I do use it often. So I just put a little bit on my fingertips and just kind of massage it into my scalp, especially where the dry areas are or if there's any itching or anything like that. So yeah, that's the tea tree oil, you guys. Absolutely love it. Um, and the next one, okay. 
this is new to me you guys but i'm absolutely absolutely loving it and i haven't done what i wanted to do with this product yet but trust and believe y'all gonna see some good content coming with it jennifer bronson thank you so much for following if y'all are just now jumping on this live welcome to amazon live you guys this is my second live if you go to my page you'll see the first live i talked about jewelry some fun jewelry gifts for the whole family that was super fun um but Amazon allows you allows us to kind of shop while we're talking. So all the products that are down there are shoppable. If you click on them, you can add them to your cart. Um, I would suggest that you do that after the video or watch the replay and do it. They'll be it'll still be here um, because it's going to take you off of this video and then you have to find your way back. And I don't want you to lose out on any information. So shop after the live, okay, you guys? But they will definitely be there. If you're on mobile, they're listed down below the video. And if you're on desktop, there's a carousel. You can scroll over and see all the products that I'm talking about today okay guys so this next piece um wait Tish Tish has something um chocolate 101 says on five months in my interlock journey welcome to the family chocolate that's amazing um did you start with two strand twists braids how did you start if y'all want to comment down below and let me know how you started your locks freeform are you traditional are you micro locks are you sister locks let me know Tish said, when I spoke to a loctician, I was told no oil, no steam, no water. How true or false has that been for you? Okay, okay, okay. So at the beginning of my lock journey, um, yes, I got it, I got it, loctician. At the beginning of my lock journey, um, when the research that I was doing, because I was just like, y'all, I was on YouTube trying to figure out this thing too, <laughs> okay? Um, at the beginning, I, I think uh, I never really used I never like submerged my head in water or anything like that because I was so scared that they were going to unravel my hair was so fine and they were just unraveling anyway but so I never submerged my head in underwater when I washed my hair I braided and banded um I did that for the first full year um I did not do steam I did not do steam but I did do um rose water and glycerin and I spritzed my hair with that every morning didn't have any problems with that except for the smell. It was interacting with my natural sebums in my hair and the smell was not giving what it's supposed to have gave. It was smelling terrible. So I stopped using the rose water with the glycerin. I went to just rose water and still it was a smell that I just couldn't get with. So I stopped using the rose water period and just started using just regular water, just regular distilled water. Um, I didn't use steam probably my first year so uh, for me, um, spritzing water on a daily basis didn't really hurt them. I didn't like saturate them fully. Um, and then braiding and banding when you're washing is going to be really important, but definitely wash your hair. Don't let nobody tell you not to wash for six months. Wash your hair, child. Um, but yeah, so it, it wasn't too bad. As long as you don't submerge your head under, you should be fine. If you're going to do, if you're going like swimming or something like that, I would suggest that you braid and band maybe use a, a cap um, um a hair cap while you're um swimming but for the most part i think you'll be fine as long as you braid and band and remember to when you band to tuck those ends under too because not only can it unravel from the root but it can unravel from the end so yes i guess i would say that's true and false <laughs> for me i mean i really didn't have too many problems because i didn't submerge my head in water um, just got micro locks last Saturday. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So a lot of you guys started with two strand twists. Oh, someone started with interlocking. Nice. Direct water oil, water onto the strands instead of the scalp can cause slippage. That is true. Especially at the beginning. Yes. You can mist your scalp with oil and rose water to keep it hydrated. Yep. Regular water works too. Yep. I would agree with everything that Demario said. <laughs> I second that. Okay, you guys, so back to the um, product that we're featuring. Okay, so this is really exciting, you guys. This is a 98-piece hair tube. Um, this just has everything in it. it, from the beads to the gold filigree tubes. Let me open, let me show you some, okay, because I haven't really dived into this like I want to, but I have some cute styles coming for you guys. But look at all of this. Okay, look at all of this. And I think it fits a decent size lock, if you look there. So these little tubes, but then also these ones are a little bit bigger. And these are little crowns. How cute is that? 
All right, so we got some silver um, medals. We got silver and we got gold. I'm a gold person. I don't think I ever wore silver, but I love just the beaded look and I have a style in mind, which is why I bought these. So y'all see that soon. <laughs> <laughs> but I absolutely love and it's such good quality it doesn't feel like rubber it actually feels like bees even though it may be a little plastic I think that may be plastic um but then it also has a little crown a little silver crown and you got your your silver filigree tubes here I actually really love these now all of these inserts are much larger than my lock so it's gonna hang on there but I still love them. Of course, you have those that you can kind of snap on. I also love these. Yes, but then they also provided some bigger ones. You know, if you have larger locks, you can use these. Or you can um, um, braid locks together and use them. But this here, I purchased for a style that I wanted to do and show you guys. It's more of a tribal style. Y'all yeah, know tribal is always in, okay? So I definitely bought these and I can't wait to show you guys. That is coming up very soon, very soon. But take a look at these, you guys. Only $15.49. It has about 130 reviews on Amazon. And there's so much that you can do with these. So for a rainy day, actually my son was going to wear one to his girlfriend's prom, but I absolutely love them. Have you all tried beads on your locks? Let me know. <laughs> yep, love it, girl. School us, baby. School us. <laughs> Chocolate 101, thank you so much for following. I appreciate it. I love my shahai and my pronouncing it. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering names today. I love my micro locks. Started with interlocking about three months ago. I had two babies in two years and need that time and freedom. Yes, um, from always manipulating my 4C hair. Best decision I ever made. Listen, girl, I cannot agree with you more. That is the primary reason why I locked my hair for the hair freedom. Okay, I'm at a stage in my life where I just want to go. Okay, my kids. They're about to graduate high school. They're going off to college. Who has time to be doing twist outs and waiting for them to dry? Not me. <laughs> so I got locks mainly because of the look. I love the look. Love the look of any type of locks. Traditional, sister locks, micro locks, free form. I love the look of locks, period. I always have. From like 10 years ago, I still have photos of when I say just locked photos. So it's always been in the back of my head. I just needed to get everything else out of my system. You know, all the hair dyes, the taper cuts. I needed to get it all out of my system before I took the plunge and locked my hair. But at the end of the day, it's all for the hair freedom. I can get up and shake and go. I may add a couple of twists here or there. But for the most part, my hair is always done. Even when I don't have um a retie my hair is always done and sometimes i like the look of thick roots so it's a hair freedom for me honey <laughs> um there's a question from um are you scared these will be too heavy for your micro lock so um some of these may be a little too heavy so i may have to double up on my locks so i thought about that like the metal silver ones they're a little bit heavy they have some weight to them so i would just double up on my locks kind of braid them together i definitely won't put it on one single lock that's just that's just too too thin so i may take a chunk and braid it together um so that it won't be too heavy so my root can handle it yes thank you so much reagan for following you guys post your questions down below this is chill what are y'all drinking on y'all got some alcohol over there <laughs> I'm saving the alcohol for uh, Christmas Day and Christmas Eve, you guys. Reagan says, hi, Kendra. Love your name. So pretty. Thank you, Reagan. Love your name. Um, also, pregnancy came for my edges, but my edges are so happy now. Pregnancy has a way of just taking all of your edges. Okay? I don't know. Listen, I know. <laughs> but trust me, I know. <laughs> I'm glad your edges are doing better. <laughs> Miriam, hi Miriam. Miriam says, do you ever use conditioner on your hair? Now, if y'all notice in this carousel, the products that I'm featuring, there is not one conditioner there because I don't use any conditioner in my hair. I have not used any conditioner at all in the whole two years that I've been locked. Um, I don't need it. I don't need it. Um, 
some of you guys may need it. Some of you guys may feel that your locks are dry and brittle or you know you may need and that's fine whatever works for your hair your hair will tell you exactly what it needs your you don't have to guess nothing it's gonna tell you exactly what it needs um one thing that i do do to combat the dry uh, the brittleness and the dryness aside from the tea tree oil on my scalp if my locks are feeling a little crunchy, which I don't really get that often, it could be um, the water that I spritz on it on a daily basis contributing to that, but they're always so so soft and fluffy. But if you guys are having any issues with um, dry, brittle locks, steaming is wonderful, okay? And if you're new to your lock journey, this may not be what you need to do right away, okay? You may need to wait until your locks are a little bit more mature. but let me go ahead and scroll to the steamer it's the last product on there i'll scroll to that and we can talk about that now you guys so this is this is actually a facial steamer y'all and i'm in the market for a sit under steamer and i will it's just a matter of me choosing one because all of them have their pros and cons so i definitely uh have been on amazon looking for one though <laughs> but this is a, a facial steamer and this thing has what 3300 reviews on it um i love this because um, I can just kind of hold it, you know, in the area that I want to steam. You have some settings here. If you're sitting it on like your counter and you want it to kind of uh, go up, you can push it up. If you want it to go down, you can push it down. But you, all you do is you add water here. And I have, I think that is tea tree oil mixed with water in there. And I put it in there, turn it on and just let the steam do its thing. Let the steam do its thing. Or if you're in the shower, sometimes I just do the shower. There are like these um, shower bomb things that you can put in your shower that'll fluff up some steam or whatever and, you know, contact every part of your body. I cannot remember what they're called, but I'm going to look them up because they're pretty cool. I think they're like uh, different oils that will just add to the atmosphere. I don't know. When Once you're in the shower and it's really hot, they'll open up and just kind of, you know, get all over your body and in your hair and things like that. So... I absolutely love steaming. That's what I do if I'm feeling a little dry. About a month ago, I was having like, ugh, I don't know what, my whole, everything was dry. I had to run to my esthetician. She gave me a whole new winter skincare routine. And then um, that helped my skin a lot. But I also had to steam um, quite often just to get that dryness. I was just feeling so dry, you guys. And it was like the change in the weather. So do you guys ever experience that? And let me know if I'm rambling, y'all. <laughs> um, hi, Alyssa. Welcome to the Amazon Live. Alyssa says, do you deal with unraveling in the beginning? Um, starting with two-strand twists. I'm starting Christmas Day. Oh, Alyssa. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so I told if you were if you weren't on here earlier, I was talking about how all of my two-strand twists basically unraveled and I was left with what I had that I interlocked. Um, so I started my lock journey with two-strand twists all over. And again, my hair is fine, um, more fine in different uh, in certain areas than the others. But um, I did experience unraveling and I did not retwist them back. I just left them unraveled. And a lot of that unraveling happened up here, which is probably why I have so much loose hair at the ends. But I'm not sure as to why. You see there? A lot of loose curls at the ends. And keep in mind that I want it to all lock up. Like, I don't want the loose curls at the ends. Lock up, please. But we'll see what happens. I'm not sure. Sometimes they will fully lock. Sometimes they won't. And this is just what I have to deal with. I believe that there's a way you can manually do that with some needles. I'm not that experienced <laughs> to do that. Um, so I'm just going to let it. I'm just trusting the process and, and seeing what happens. Um, hey, Scott. Scott said winter dries me out too. Oh, Lord, that winter cool, dry um, air just does a number. Does a number. Um, Shahai, Shahai, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. <laughs> you are so beautiful. I've been following you for a minute, praying for your success. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I love it. Thank you guys so much. Okay, you guys, so I talked about the facial steamer. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Um, that's a staple in my routine um, with my skin and my hair. So, Kenya, is it Kenya? Thank you so much for following me. If I pronounce that wrong, I am. So I'm probably just butchering everybody's name at this point. <laughs> um, okay, y'all's questions are coming in fast. I'm going to try to capture them. 
Tiffany Thompson. Hey, Tiffany. Welcome to the live. Tiffany said, when you went back to interlock, did you just do the rotation or the whole strand? Oh, I see what you're saying. So after they unravel from the two strand twist, no, nope. I just did the rotation. I did not go back in and do the whole strand. However, I do have a video on my YouTube showing you guys how to correct that in the middle of the strand when you have the raveling from the ends up. I showed how you guys can correct that. And that's not something I did. Um, with my locks, I just left them unraveled. I was just like, it is what it is. I spent all this time to establish. I'm not going back and twisting nothing. And thank goodness they, they turned out the way that they turned out and I love them. So, <laughs> so no, I did not do the whole strand. I just did my, you know, two, um, two point rotation. That's it. All right. Oh no, you're saying my name perfectly. Perfect no one does love you even more now thank you so much Alyssa. thank you so much for following i appreciate it um let's see here do you talk about your nighttime regimen or did i miss it so i, I get this question often and often that was very country <laughs> that was, i'm from kentucky louisville to be exact you guys um so my nighttime regimen i don't really have one like you know most people would be like yeah, I spritz it at night. I put my scarf on, lay my... No, y'all. Literally, I sometimes I don't even put on a bonnet. I just be going to bed. But no, I don't spray it with anything. The only thing I would do is either sleep on a silk or satin pillowcase or on my silk bonnet. That's There's no regimen at nighttime. Like, I don't braid it up. I just... I don't put it up. I literally just put that bonnet on and go to bed. When I say hair freedom, I'm not playing with y'all. <laughs> Hair freedom. There's no nighttime regimen. Okay. I just go to bed. Throw that bonnet on and go to bed. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've been binge watching, binge watching because I planned a two strand twist next week. Wow. You got a task in front of you, but you are going to be so happy with the end result. Once you get them done, oh, it's going to be so liberating. I promise you. I promise you. <laughs> Okay, I don't even wear a bonnet. My silk pillowcase is my bestie. Yes. Now, the only thing that like that I go back and forth on with the silk pillowcase and the bonnet is that, you know, there be lint and dust floating everywhere. Okay. And uh, some of them in the back, it's probably due to the clothes that I wear, have some lint buildup in them. But um, the only thing with with wearing my hair out just sleeping on the satin pillowcase is the fact that there is a possibility that lint could fall in my hair and once it's in there girl if you don't see it or find it it's in there it ain't coming out unless somebody's picking it out and most of the time i be girl bobby pins be getting lost in my hair i don't know so that would be my only like drawback but sometimes i don't even care i don't even care for the most part i think i'm doing pretty good with like the lint and stuff like that so yeah, it's all right. But there are some in the back that, you know, have some buildup in them. It is what it is. I'll just dye it black. <laughs> okay. Um, Mara, new book me, please. That's the name, Mara. Welcome to the live. Um, says, how many inches of hair did you have when you installed your twist? Okay, so I do get this question a lot and I don't know because I didn't measure. But I do know that I had a taper cut. My sides were probably about this long. So was the nape. So I couldn't establish like the first four, the, the bottom four rows. They always unravel and I had to reestablish, reestablish and reestablish those because number one, the hair is so fine and number two, the hair is so short. So I don't know. I know it was much longer on top because I had a taper cut, right? It was longer on top, shorter on the sides, shorter in the back. Um, so not sure of the inch, y'all. I just saw when I started them, like y'all, literally it was spare the moment. I saw a picture and I was like, all right, that's it. I woke up. It was probably like 11 p.m. and I started twisting my hair. Didn't have a plan. Didn't, didn't even create a real grid. I was just parting row by row and hoping that it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> so Nikki's from Fort Knox and you were raised in Radcliffe what do you come to Louisville do you ever come to Louisville <laughs> okay that is an excellent question Mara I did not interlock during my install and that is something that I truly regret doing now that I look back well now it's not a big deal but that first retie 
after installing my twist was a it was like it took so long it took so long and i think it's because i really had to establish things the hair was really soft and there was nothing you know there was no interlock before it so i'm just kind of like starting from the beginning with the interlocking so man oh man if i had any advice is if you're doing two strand twists go ahead and interlock those roots right now on install day because your next retie will not take so long okay trust and believe thank you so much for the follow i don't know your name but thank you guys so much for following me. If you're just jumping on the live, go ahead and follow the follow. If you follow me, it'll let you know when I have a new live scheduled and um, when I go live. This is a fun platform, you guys. It allows you to shop while we're talking. It allows me to show you guys my favorite Amazon products. This is probably the easiest way for me to do that. Um, I would suggest that you guys shop the products after the live because if you go ahead and click on the products, it's gonna take you off the live, y'all, and then you might have problems getting back. So if you're on mobile, just scroll up, you'll see the products down below. Those are all the products that I'm talking about today. If you're on desktop, there's a carousel. There's a carousel where you can scroll over and see all of the products that I'm talking about today that I would recommend. These are products that I have in my stash that I use on a daily basis, so on and so forth. So I will never promote something that I don't use. That's just not me, okay? That is not me whatsoever. But, um, <laughs> okay, so Nikki, thank you so much for following. I appreciate it. Tish, as a newbie, any advice on how to ward off lock envy? Oh, Tish, I know. I know. I have lock envy. I look at people's locks and I'm like, oh my God, her locks are beautiful. And um, just enjoy the process. Enjoy every stage. Um, people, people always say, oh my God, the plucked chicken stage. Oh my God, I love the plucked chicken stage. I love the plucked chicken stage, y'all. So I would just say... Try not to focus on um, your locks looking like anybody else's locks. Focus on your locks and how they're turning out. Just focus on your own journey. It's okay to envy people's hair. I do it every day. Anytime I see somebody locked in, I'm like, oh my God. It's like we have like a connection. You know, when you see someone else that's locked, it's like, what's up? <laughs> I see you, girl. <laughs> but no, just focus on your own journey. Yes, embrace the journey. Like Lady M said, it's your journey and love every stage. Love every, don't go into it thinking, oh my God, I'm going to look a hot mess in the early stages. Enjoy, style it. It's okay to style your hair. Y'all know I styled my hair. I did rod sets when I first got started. Honey, I was, y'all know I'm a styling machine and I like shape. I don't like stuff to just like with my hair i don't like it to just hang i like shape and style so feel free to you know don't do too much manipulation because you can halt the process but add some hair pins add a couple of twists you know what i'm saying do you just enjoy enjoy the journey thank you all for answering i will install mine as soon as we get through the holidays yes Super, do you use a black hair color or is that your natural hair color? A uh, great question. Um, I do use a hair color and you know, I should have added it here. I will go back and add it here if I can. I use the Revline vegan hair color and it focuses on grays. Um, I don't dye my full head. The only thing that I dye is the grays. Okay. So like right here, um i get a lot of grays right here and then there's one spot like right here in my nape that just be fully gray and i'm not here for it i'm not ready for that yet so i dye it so i spot i spot dye my hair um i never put it all throughout my lock so i use dark brown um hair dye and uh i'll try to link it so that you guys can get to it because i really want you all to use that color it's vegan it's um it doesn't have a uh, harsh harsh ingredients to where it'll it'll affect your hair and like i said i spot dye so i don't put it all over so yep i do dye it though honey <laughs> how do you get your roller curl so defined and pronounced what is the process so speaking of rollers y'all that is the next product that we're talking about um if y'all know anything y'all know about miss diane okay miss diane got the best satin foam rollers perm rods clips combs anything you can think of but i usually stay with the diane brand no different with my satin foam rollers okay so i use satin foam rollers when i want a bigger curl 
um the thing the good thing is is that you can curl it tight with the satin foam rollers but i love the satin because of course it protects your hair look at that it's it's fully satin around and it's over a sponge roller as you can see these are the old style rollers honey i'm still rolling with them they always gonna be a fave okay but um when you say um curl so defined i love these the only thing i use um sometimes i may use mousse by lot of body okay and i should have added that product here too oh my god that's such a good product because i use that often with my set i'll try to add the lot of body mousse okay remember that the lot of body mousse and the one thing about lot of body i just got to plug in lot of body this is not sponsored by lot of body but one thing about lot of body is that they have been with me through all of my hair journeys okay from relaxed to natural now to locked okay relaxed hair remember that good old satin lotion that we used to use okay we had to dilute it with water okay equal parts yes i used that satin lotion when it came to like molding my hair for my short pixie cut for my natural hair journey i used the mousse and then also for my locks i used the mousse so a lot of bodies that one like brand that has gone with me throughout all of my hair journeys and i absolutely love i'm here for a lot of body you guys Back to the rollers, I love these, satin all the way around so it won't draft your hair. Not only that, there's nothing that can snag your hair. It's just smooth satin all the way around, all right? And if you click on there, it'll show you the size. This is the exact size that I have linked. I think it's 5 8 and um, they're smaller. You can get them larger if you want a larger curl, um, but for the length of my hair, this size is perfect, okay? So these really give a nice curl. If you're asking how do I get a perfect curl, these give a nice curl. And then it also, and maybe I should do a video on that, like the whole process, because it, it, it matters the way that you add the roller to your hair, whether it's gonna be a spiral curl or if it's just gonna be a curl that has curled over itself. <sighs> it's a lot y'all <laughs> so maybe i'll do a video and show you guys like the actual like a detailed process of how i'm doing um my roller sets so i have uh leaked the diane and not only that you guys a good old diane cold wave rod these are the yellow ones that i use i sometimes use the white ones but when we're talking about spiral curls or tight curls sometimes i would just roll the ends of my hair and leave the rest straight you look at that length look ball headed wear <laughs> ball headed wear girl shrinkage be a fool a fool but anyway i love these okay one thing about these is that they have little teeth on them so you can do old school and you can use the wrapping paper um so it won't snag your hair um, but I'm really gentle with these. Um, the teeth aren't really long. Um, so when I'm wrapping it, when I'm wrapping my lock on there, I'm, I'm being very careful. And when I'm taking it off, I'm being very careful. So this is the size of rods that I use. If I want a tight curl, I'll use a minimum amount of locks on one rod. If I want a looser curl, I'll take maybe a chunk of locks and put it on a rod. So you can kind of, you know, figure out what your curl is going to be based on how much hair you use as well. I would say to kind of do an experiment, you know, figure out which way um, you want to do it. But um, I love to do the spirals with these. And when I do the spirals, they kind of turn out like, um, what are those little pipe cleaners? That's what it reminds me of. It turns out like pipe cleaner curls. And that is something that I haven't tried yet. So I'm gonna definitely try out pipe cleaners as well. Um, so those are the two type of rollers that I use to get my curls. I don't use any other rollers. Like I said, for the for the Coway rods, I use probably like, I may use white sometimes. I may use gray as well. But for the most part, these yellow ones have been bay. These are the ones that I use mm, more often than any of the other ones um and then okay let me let's see let's see that's a diverse product wow a lot of body yes very much so your curls are always popping thank you so much i went to place my order i couldn't wait <laughs> Lori, you're so funny steve thank you for following tiffany thank you so much for following i hope i answered your question um shahai um comment down below if you guys would want me to do like a dedicated video towards the roller setting process because i could do that i most certainly could next up you guys is the diane double prong these are the little clips you know that our mamas and grannies used to use back in the day i still use these these come in handy when it comes to retying my hair um i use these to just kind of keep the hair away 
you know if i'm working on the set let's say i'm working on this lock i will pin all of these locks out of the way and all the hair that goes with it so that i can just focus on this one lock because if y'all are like me y'all know how crazy it is to untie two locks that you have tied together okay and um, i don't ever want to do that again because one time i did that and it took me so long i just said forget it they're gonna stay tied together like that and they <laughs> they have grown together okay i twisted them two strands twisted them up and i was like i'm not gonna try to do this so yes using these really keeps my hair when i'm doing my retie keeps everything where it needs to be you know what i'm saying keeps the hair where it needs to be <laughs> okay roller video coming up you guys you guys have spoken <laughs> All right, you guys, so, okay, so I don't know um, if y'all are familiar with like the rat tail comb with the like the rat tail on the end, but this is also, this is also a really good comb for my reties. Number one, because of how fine the bristles are, okay, so I'm able to kind of like comb the hairs down or out of the way, and then also this here tip is the bomb. It's not super sharp where it's gonna poke you but it's sharp enough to where you can get a nice crisp line so if you're if you're someone that really harps on like um your grid your grid your grid you want your grid to remain perfect get you a nice rat tail comb so that you can part it off really good or any type of parting comb whatsoever but i love this one and it's ten dollars but it's well worth it i love the rat tail part of it because it's really sharp but it doesn't it has a rounded tip so it's not gonna like scrape you or scratch you or anything like that but i use this with the clips to kind of keep my hair out of the way when i'm working on a particular lock so this is a staple this is bay i try not to lose this because i mean ten dollars for a comb girl <laughs> gets real excited expensive <laughs> um hey can drop in micro locked for 14 months now I was previously wore traditional locks for eight years, about seven years ago, and praying for the dedicated vids for styles in general. I need help with technique. Your styles are always fire. Thank you so much. The styles, I don't really do a lot of styling. Um, I, I, I did a, a video on my 24 month lock anniversary with like a collection of styles. And I, that video is actually coming up within the next couple of days for one of the styles. But for the most part, y'all, when y'all see styles, it's usually just me fooling around, like just creating content for you guys. I ain't really going nowhere. <laughs> but the majority, like my main style is a side part and then also my roller sets. And I may do like a braid or a braid back. I don't really do a lot of styling. I, for the most part, like to wear it down. It is getting a little bit longer now. So to get it off my neck, you know, I may choose to do you know something up in the back but i will definitely um take into consideration to do more styling videos on youtube um so that you guys can you know have some more options i did a lot of styling videos when i was a tapered um loose natural and y'all loved it so i don't mind i most certainly do not mind <laughs> okay you guys now this and when i say i spritz my hair every day this is the water bottle that i use okay so these come in a pack of two a black and a white one um and look at the spray on oh my gosh i love the spray on these okay so the question earlier um when she was asking you know did you experience any unraveling from or did you use any waters oils and things like that when i say i spritz my hair literally this is what i spritz my hair with i did not use any water bottles that put direct water onto my hair it was always a spritz look i just love the way that this it's just a spritz it like it it distributes the water all over your hair to where it's not concentrated in one place and that's what you want okay that is what you want so these bottles are the bomb all right they got what seven thousand reviews on amazon and uh, over four almost five stars and they're 14.99 okay so yes i love the spray bottle okay i'm getting some cosines on the spray bottles you guys i'm so serious when i tell you you need to get one of these especially if you're locked this is don't be using those ones from the dollar store that does one stream of water on your head and you know don't do that use this because you get like an overall just mist of water all over your head 
and it it's amazing <laughs> and sometimes when my face is dry I also do the same thing to my face I'll spritz it with all that water Victoria thank you so much for following I appreciate it, you guys if you're new to the live please follow me if you follow it'll alert you and let you know when I'm live and when I have live scheduled um, if you're new to the Amazon live platform welcome this is new um, I was grateful and honored to be one of the influencers um to participate in it so i'm happy to bring you guys this platform if you're on mobile if you scroll down you'll see all the products that we talked about today if you're on desktop it's a carousel right below the video you'll find all the um, products that we're talking about you can shop these products i make it real easy i put the links to the exact products that i um, use and then I'm showing you guys here today. So thank you so much for joining this live. I appreciate you guys. I'm having so much fun, you guys. And I know we're coming up on an hour, but I'm not ready to go yet. <laughs> um, Jan Jan Janice or Janice, thank you so much for following. Should you spritz with starter locks? My daughter is one week on. I don't see what a spritz being an issue. As long as you don't fully saturate the hair without braiding and banding, I think you're okay to spritz your hair with water. When I first started my locks, you know, when I would go to bed, because they didn't have any weight to them, they were just sticking up everywhere. I would have to spritz them with some water to get them to lay down or style them or get them to lay one way or the other. So I don't see anything wrong with spritzing your hair with water because it's not direct water on your hair. Okay. This is also good for men too. All right. Good for men. <laughs> um, thank you so much for the follows, you guys. Do you use rose water, distilled, or other? So um, in my bottle right now is distilled water. I actually have a water filter in my house. So sometimes I do use the tap water, but for the most part, um, when I wash my hair, it's definitely tap water because I'm not running downstairs to get distilled water to pour over my head. It's, no, it's not that serious. But they say to use um, distilled over tap because of the buildup. Um, so I try to use distilled water, but, um, if you're, if you have a filter, a water filter in your house, you should be good to go. Okay. It should be able to take all that hard water and those, um, minerals and things out of there that are not supposed to be in there. So yes. Um, thank you so much for following. Can you add oil to the water? My daughter's hair tends to stay dry. Yeah. You can add like a pinch of oil to your water when you spritz it. Um, definitely do that if it stays dry. Um, Definitely uh, um, check out steaming. Even if you would want it to braid and band your hair and then steam, try that. But make sure you braid and band first because don't come back and say, girl, you told me I can steam, but all my locks, you know, unravel. But I wouldn't want that, okay? <laughs> don't make me responsible for that. So braid and band if you need to. Do what you got to do, you know? Um, so, yeah, I think that would be okay to add a little oil to it if it, if it stays dry. All right. Okay, so guys, that was the water bottles. Now we're going to talk about, okay, so this is fun. Y'all, this is the lock bath. I call this the lock bath. And that is this right here, y'all. So this thing is amazing. So my son has traditional locks. And I felt like he had a little bit of buildup. So we did a lock detox. You know, when you take the apple cider vinegar and you take the um, baking soda and you put it in here. And now they have them in bombs where you just throw it in the bath and um, everything's already there. But this is what he uses. He literally puts his head right here. His head sinks down in there. It comes with a tube to where um, you can drain the water. This is how you blow it up <laughs> there. But this is where you add that tube to drain the water. So this thing is freaking cool, all right? Um, I, I'd imagine anyone with long locks that would benefit from this. So definitely check this out, you guys. It's only $20. It's got about almost 900 reviews on Amazon, and it is bomb. We didn't have any leaking water on the floor. He just laid um, on his bedroom floor, and we let his hair, let him soak in warm water with the apple cider vinegar and the baking soda, and his locks were very clean afterwards. You see the water, it was very brown. <laughs> yes, the tub is on your list, um, Janice. Yeah, uh, uh, Wanis or Janice, I'm probably saying it all wrong. But definitely, you guys, check out that um, detox tub. I think it's got about almost five stars on, on Amazon, so it's definitely something that we needed. We don't do it often, but um, every once in a while is good. You don't want to use too much baking soda and apple cider vinegar on your locks because it could cause brittleness and make them dry and break off. So after that, though, he has traditional locks, so we definitely 
um, condition his locks after a detox. So <laughs> it's Juanis or Johnny's. Girl, I still can't get it. Absolutely. I'm glad I caught your live. I'm so glad you're here too. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Thank you, Scott, for following. I appreciate you guys so much. Y'all, I had so much fun. Did y'all get everything? Did it give what it was supposed to have gave? Did you get all your answers, your questions answered? <laughs> <laughs> okay do you have a seed bead in the front how do you install okay so I know y'all have asked me a couple of times and there's a couple of them in here I just can't find them but this is um a lock bead and I have information coming about these very soon but it is a brass bead and I believe it's two millimeters um and the way that I installed it is the hard way i literally just folded the bottom of my locks and and fed it through the um through the bead that's how i got it on there's some more there's another one yeah there's another one right there um so yeah they're just sporadically throughout my hair i'm actually testing these out because i don't want to share anything with you guys that i know is not going to work but I'm just here to tell you that I have washed my hair. I have dyed my hair. I spritz my hair on a daily basis. Um, I add tea tree oil to my hair and this bead still looks the same. Still gold, still vibrant. There's no rust, there's no nothing. So if I'm gonna share a product with you guys, I wanna make sure that it does what it needs to do and um, you know that y'all are getting the best product out there i don't want to share anything with you guys that's gonna you know rust in your hair or something like that so that's why i haven't really told you guys about where i got it from but trust me it's coming it's coming i promise thank you so much hey kendra i am strongly considering doing micro locks i have fine hair um what beginning are you asking how should you start your locks um i have fine hair as well and I started mine with two strand twist and um, they unraveled, <laughs> but here we are. Um, so are, are you asking what technique is best for beginning micro locks and fun? So what I would suggest is that you actually um, go see a loctician so they can check out different methods on doing your locks. You can choose to do braids. You can choose to do two strand twists. You can choose to do comb coils but it's based on like your hair so you you telling me that you have fine hair i'm gonna tell you okay i have fine hair too and i started with two strand twists so why you know without me seeing your hair touching your hair to know that's what you know that's that's the type of answer that i can give you um so i would i would suggest you go see a lot if you are truly if you truly don't know i would suggest you go and see a loctician so that they can do some strand tests on you some lock tests so they'll do one with two strand twists they'll do one with interlocking they'll do one with braids just to see what method will work best on your type of hair okay um i hope that makes sense you guys have any more questions because we are going to jump off here soon. Thank you for the video. Very informative. We'll be buying some of these products. Awesome, you guys. Um, let me know, you guys, what you guys want to see from me next. Do you guys want to see more hair? We can do a tutorial live. We can, we're definitely doing makeup. I have a New Year's um, makeup tutorial on live coming up that's gonna be super fun you guys um y'all know i love makeup i love to beat this face but i don't ever really do videos and show you guys how i do it so i would love to do that if you're interested let me know comment comment in the chat and let us know if you want to see more makeup but i know hair 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 you guys loved all things locked and so i was happy to do this video uh, jennifer says i always love makeup awesome yes a live tutorial yes that would be super fun <laughs> we could do some live tutorials um, again, the, I love the laid backness of this. We're all just friends here having fun. So I'm happy to answer any questions that you all have. I appreciate you guys so much for um, joining this live stream. I had so much fun. We'll be back again next week. So stay tuned. Make sure you guys are following. Okay, wait, we said, hey, so happy I was able to catch some of the end. Your hair is the reason I decided to get micro locks. In case I missed it, do you interlock? or twist when you refresh in your locks. I definitely interlock. I used a two point rotation. Yes, I am not a loctician, you guys. No, 
I, I learned just like y'all. I got on the YouTube and the internet and the Yahoo's and the Googles. And I figured it out. <laughs> I figured it out just like you guys. So yeah, I'm just happy to share my journey with you guys. So what, what works for me may not work for you guys, but I'm still happy to share the information and you guys can take with it what you will. But all right, you guys, so I'm going to jump off here. It's already been an hour. I appreciate you guys so much for joining this live. Stay tuned. Next week, we're going to have another live and um we're gonna have fun so thank you Mwah. go shop the products you guys if you're interested don't forget to follow and then i'll see you back again next week bye <laughs>